Well, Dan and I are the two dumb, dumb guys that are gonna pack in. There's about 20 horse trailers here. So, in case you didn't know, this is where we're at. Yeah. With everyone else. Send you the pin. It's about 3,000 foot climb to the top. And it's like six or seven miles into camp, so. What, it's uh, like 11 or, no, 11.30, we're gonna load up and go compete in the morning, I guess. Are you ready? The only two guys hiking. <laughs> full pack and a full pack. Let's do it. <laughs> secret spot. Super secret spot. Let's do it. Oh, there's a truck. Way down there. Oh, oh way up. We're not even by halfway up this hill yet. Green heavy, let's go. Um. 3,000 feet of elevation in. About 50 more to go. Wow. Harry, I've reached the top. That's so cool. That's so cool. Just walk in the creek bottom. It's not that big. He's not as big as the other bull there. It's not as good as the other bull though, right? But he is good. A little force too. Back end's not very good. Well, here we are at camp. I'm having another peak refuel. We're trying the bison ranch mashers, and Dan's doing the chicken alfredo pasta. Um, a lot of action tonight. It'll be fun. Here's the tent set up right now. Uh, gonna be tight, but that's all right. We saw, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, like five bowls that are all mostly mature one's like a year shy probably that five by six that's probably the only shy, one that's shy i saw four yeah four other nice mature bulls uh three of them are just in a spot that they're so far in it doesn't make sense for us to go chase them which sucks but we're gonna go chase that first big one we spotted he still kind of stands out as maybe the best bull around so 
packed in here, what, we're a mile, mile and a half straight line from him. And I'm almost, what, how far elevation wise, do you say? 1,700. 1,700 feet below him, so. It's gonna be a rough morning, but what we we did almost 5,000 feet of elevation gain just today. So anyway, we're gonna eat dinner and go to bed and try to kill a bull in the morning. All right, guys, here we go. We're loading up. That moon is shining bright, super bright out, even without the headlamp. We've got about two, a little over two hours before shooting light, and about a two two and a half mile hike. So we're gonna get moving. Where's he at? Oh, so where is he at? Oh, he's still kicking. yard shot both my sh shots I placed high high shoulder we ended up coming up and putting another finishing shot on him when we were done which is tough but his hands are so sticky he got piled up in that tree up there and we drug him down here for a little better better view he's a pretty good bull I don't know if he's quite my biggest he's close he's probably we're thinking around 310 probably awesome bull though cool experience and we're way in here. It's gonna be a super, <laughs> like this is, I don't know why we killed a bull this far back. This is dumb, but. And we got a grizzly right next to us. Yeah, that video we took was, <laughs> that grizzly bear was literally, we saw those four bulls this morning where he was last night. We followed where they were. And as we were walking around, he right before he bugles, we see that grizzly bear and he walks by us at a hundred yards. And we watch him go out of sight and then come over and kill him. So it's gonna be, um, Gonna be on our toes for, for <laughs> be pretty nervous the whole time we're cutting him up and getting him situated. But super cool first Wyoming bull, public land, over the counter. So anyway, we're let's roll to work. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>
Hasn't been too long. All right, well, we're all done quartering them up. Back straps, tenderloins, all quarters in the head. So we're gonna do some shuttles to this saddle that's about a half a mile or so. And then we're gonna try and figure out a plan from there because we're way in here. So it's gonna be interesting, but check back in a bit. Well, this is where we're gonna try and hide our meat for now. Dan's climbing up in the tree. Take a load to camp, load up camp, get out of here, and come up with a plan for getting the rest out. We're about seven and a half miles in from right here. So, it's gonna be a long, long day today, long day tomorrow. Let's roll. All right, we're just loaded up with the front, and uh, we're gonna head to camp, load up camp, and then go try and get some help. Come back in here and get all this. So. It's gonna be a long day. We got what seven and a half miles out, roughly. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. Let's do it. How was that? I missed most of it. So two o'clock. Dan's loaded up. I'm loaded up. We're gonna blast out of here. It's all trail. It's probably like six miles, and we only have. One big climb, blast out of here and try to figure out how to get the rest of the meat out in the head and stuff. So anyway, let's get after it. Well, load one's here and we're absolutely destroyed. Our feet, our pins and needles and our knees hurt and shoulders and I don't know what we're gonna do for getting the rest of it out right now, but we'll figure something out. It's gonna be a long day. Long, long couple days, my feet are destroyed. Anyway, we're gonna get some food, head into town, and figure out a game plan for the days coming to get the rest of that out. So, it's been a day. We took yesterday off. Spent the whole day contacting different people. Ended up finding someone, uh, like an outfitter or a packer, who was able to uh, get it for us. I'm gonna be meeting with him this afternoon. You know, we just, after that first day, absolutely destroyed us there was no way we were going to be able to get back in there like seven and a half eight miles and four thousand feet of elevation above the truck so this will be the only time in my life i probably have to do this and if i ever come back here i'll definitely have my own horses or some be with someone with horses so kind of tough to pay someone to get it out it's not something i ever thought i would be doing but um to keep be able to recover all the meat and uh, get it in a timely manner. Um, it's the only way to do it, so. Still an awesome hunt. Danny went home yesterday. I've just been hanging out here in town, just kind of killing time. So, I'll head out there and get my the rest of my meat and my antlers and stuff this afternoon when they get out to the trailhead. <laughs> 